Stay tuned for new videos by subscribing to our channel. Why were tiaras forbidden at Charles III's coronation? Why did Charles III forbid ladies to wear tiaras at the coronation? Where are the tiaras, Charles? The Welsh princess in a floral wreath, her mother and sister in their old hats, and princess and in a military cap, with no tiaras in sight. The coronation ceremony is a highly traditional event full of sacred symbols and meanings. It is a great honor to be present at this mystery. And of course, it is a kind of show and a demonstration of power, wealth, and status. The Chosen Ones, representatives of the most influential families in the kingdom, members of royal families from other states, politicians, and individuals who have distinguished themselves with special merits to the nation are invited to the coronation. And such an event has a certain dress code. In the United Kingdom, a court costume was adopted for the aristocrats attending this event. Women wear white dresses with red velvet bodices, trains, and, of course, tiaras and coronets. Men wear formal attire, mantles, and coronets. Depending on fashion, these courtly outfits have changed, but the colors red and white, mantles, and coronets have remained constant. A coronet is a little crown, a count's, duke's, or baron's crown on a crimson velvet base. When the words God save the king are pronounced at the climax, those present put on their coronets. It is a beautiful and solemn act. For his own coronation, Charles III decided to do away with the ceremonial court attire for the aristocracy. It's a shame, really, as the ladies and gentlemen would have looked very majestic in their crimson outfits. But what's even more regrettable is that we didn't get to see the family tiaras on the beautiful ladies. Let's try to understand why. Economy Charles III's coronation was prepared in a relatively short time, and the king insisted on cutting expenses and reducing the ceremony itself. One can understand him, he is no longer young, and the royal garments are very heavy and uncomfortable. Your heavy hat. The imperial state crown alone weighs about 2 kilograms. During the coronation broadcast, it was evident that at the first opportunity, Charles III and Camilla took it off their heads. They wore these magnificent royal headdresses when they left Westminster Abbey and later on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. I suppose it was decided to exempt the guests from wearing coronets so that it wouldn't seem odd that the monarch would take off his crown. Moreover, it's not very comfortable to spend hours in tiaras, and the coronation lasts for three hours on air. The duration of the preparation and the exact timing of when the ladies can remove their headpieces remain uncertain. Cramped space. You can see how crowded it is. The trains cannot unfold, and someone has to carry the trains behind the countesses, duchesses, earls, marquises, and barons. To arrange and sit down with the trains, it takes space and time. And they tried to shorten the timing. Plus, the modern aristocracy doesn't handle trains as skillfully as their ancestors did. Perhaps there have been fewer opportunities to practice. Times change, and some traditions fade away. Additionally, tall hairstyles with tiaras may obstruct the view of those sitting behind. If Princess Anne, for instance, sat directly in front of Prince Harry, and her crimson feather covered him, in other cases, such an oversight might be undesirable. Democracy Let's move on to what I consider the most significant reason. The audience at the coronation has become much more democratic. Representatives of aristocratic families have mingled with politicians and their wives, entrepreneurs, artists, and distinguished personalities, and so on. Not all of these people can afford luxurious tiaras or possess family heirlooms. It would be wrong to emphasize this, as Charles has chosen a path that should make the monarchy more approachable and understandable to the people. It's the only way to maintain his position. On the one hand, it's a great pity that we didn't see the beautiful tiaras, sparkling gemstones, and splendid ceremonial attire. Instead, the ladies were offered floral-themed headpieces to highlight how King Charles loves nature and cares about the environment. Besides, he is an excellent gardener and takes great pride in his gardens at Highgrove. 
What do you think about Charles III's decision to forbid Tiaras at the coronation? Do you believe it was driven by economic considerations, limited space, or a desire to be more democratic? Share your opinions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more fascinating insights and discussions. Thank you for watching.